Hi, this is Dave Phillippe with FabCAD, and one of the neat things about the AutoRail program is its ability to create custom shapes and top bars and all kinds of different items. So here's a, here's a certain top bar configuration that's a 2-inch Schedule 40 pipe with a channel underneath, and the reason for all this is that they want to be able to punch through the channel, conceal the wells, set the pipe on top, and create the railing that way. So just to double check everything, I'll check that the uh, check the diameter of this. Two inch schedule forty, so two and three eighths outside diameter, which is what that is. This channel is three quarter by inch and a half channel. And we need the reason I'm showing you this is to in order to create a capping and channel, one of the one of the pieces of data you need is the overall height of the assembly itself. So I'm gonna do a vertical dimension here. Alright, from the midpoint here to the top quadrant of the pipe. That's two and seven eighths. Okay. So now we go to the customize box and customize material selection and we're going to create a capping channel, a new one. So I'm going to start with an existing one first. I'm just going to copy this down and then I'm going to change this two inch cap and channel to two inch pipe and channel. P-I-P-E Okay, I don't know the unit cost or unit weight, so let's delete that for now. So the top type on a regular capping and channel is usually a cap rail. This one, it's a pipe. So a P-I-P-E. And the top material is 2-inch Schedule 40 pipe. So let's see what that looks like. So 2-inch Schedule 40, because the thing is, the description has to be exact or the program will crash on you. So... It's a 2-inch SCH40 pipe. Okay, so let's go in here, and the top material is 2-inch SCH space 40 PIPE. That's the top material. The bottom type is a bar channel, and the bar channel is 3 quarter of an inch and a half. So let's go to the bar channel. We have one of those in here already, too, so that's good. We have a pretty large database of channels and pipes. So three quarter by inch and a half channel. Three quarter by one and a half channel. Okay, so three quarter, we'll change this, by one and one half channel. Oh, not that. That would make it crash. Three quarter inch and a half channel. So you see the invert is checked, which means because most channels are just drawn with the legs down. So it's inverted so the legs stick up. Just like we have on our original drawing right here. Okay. Now, top to bottom distance. That's why we needed that. So the top to bottom distance is two and seven eighths. So you have to put everything in decimal. So it's two point eight seven five. Now O T D below the channel. So, for instance, OTD is post-top distance. So what this is, the BC is for posts that where the channel breaks. So in other words, the channel butts to the post. So the distance you want to put in there is from the top of the pipe to the top of the post. So from the top of the pipe to the top of the post would be the diameter of the pipe, which is 2 and 3 eighths, which is 2. 375. And then if it's budding underneath the channel, it would be 2 and 7 eighths, 2.875. And then the ITD, the picket top distance, would be the picket's going to punch through the bottom of this channel, say a quarter of an inch. So from the top of the top bar to the top of the picket would be two and seven eighths less a quarter of an inch. Okay, so I ran a calculator on that, and that's 2.625. So from the top of the top bar to the top of the picket is 2.625, which in effect has that picket going through that channel one quarter of an inch. So the ITD, the picket top distance, is 2.625. Okay. All right, so then we click OK there, and 
just double check, make sure that this box is checked, clicked OK. All right, everything has to be really exact. So let's see if this thing will, will draw. So we'll click OK. So I'm going to go to the horizontal rail program, and I'm going to import template, and I'm going to pick inch and a quarter tube rail, click OK, and I'm going to go next, and I'm going to pick a different top bar. I'm going to go to capping and channel and pick our new piece. We just created a two inch pipe and channel. Click OK. Click draw. Pick a point. And there's the cut list. So let's see what happens. So there is the railing. There's the pipe, the bottom of the pipe. The channel, of course, wraps around the pipe at the bottom. Let me regenerate that to get it smooth. Okay, so that shows it just right there. Okay. And then the picket punches through quarter of an inch so to, to, you can have concealed wells. Now let me draw a line for this post here. And the channel sits right on the post. So now you can just draw away. You can create all kinds of railings with this particular top bar. If you're like doing a school job or something, once you've gone through the trouble of setting this top bar up, then you can just crank out all your railings super fast. Save this. I could go back to the horizontal rail uh, export template and call it uh, two inch pipe type top rail. Export it and then so I come in tomorrow and I want to draw this thing. All I do is go in horizontal rail import template and there is a two inch pipe top rail I just created and I'm off and running. Simple as that. Take care. Bye.